Hello, my name is Patrick Brown, and for my classical speech, I will be doing Richard II playing the role of Brunningbrook, written by William Shakespeare. For my contemporary piece, I will be doing Songlines, written by Tallulah Brown, playing the role of Stan. For my song, I will be doing So You Wanna Be the Boxer, performed by KG Joe in the play Bugsy Malone. And for my device piece, I'll be doing the piece called French Viande. As I was banished, I was banished Hereford, but as I come, I come for Lancaster. And, noble uncle, I beseech your grace, look on my wrongs with an indifferent eye. You are my father for me, thinks in you. I see I'll go to lie. If then my father, will you pick that I shall stand condemned, a wandering vagabond, my rights and royalties plucked from my arms perforce and given away to upstarts and thrifts? Wherefore was I born? And if that my cousin be king, be king of England, then it must be granted that I am Duke of Lancaster. You have a son who mail my noble cousin and had you first died and thus been trod down, he should have found himself a father, gaunt, an uncle, to rouse his wrongs and chase them to the bay. I am denied to see my livery, and yet my letter patents give me leave, and all my father's goods are distrained and sold, and yet are all, are all misemployed. Uncle, what would you have me do? I am a subject and I challenge law. All attorneys deny me and, and therefore, personally, I lay my claim to my inheritance of free descent. I bossed the party. Like, I was on it, on fire, on a roll. I was the life and soul of the party, like, the guy that everyone wanted to talk to. And I was telling stories and I didn't stutter or shuffle or get in a muddle and I was cracking jokes and they were coming out like, bam, bam, bam. And they were genuinely funny. People were like, beelining for me. I watch as they come closer, asking who I am, where I got all these funny stories from. I'm normally so quiet around these people. They're not even used to hearing me talk, let alone this fast. And they were like, who is this guy? Where has he been the whole time? And I went into the garden to find Stevie. I wanted to tell him that, that, that I loved her. So I took her face into my hands and I was like, tell me all your secrets. She pushed my hands away and laughed so much that snot had flown out her nose. She said that I was being too intense, which, which I liked because all the fit boys are intense. I wanted to tell her that I loved her and I lost her for a bit. This time I really was going to tell her that I loved her. She's always hard to find in a crowd, you know, like always on the run, on the move. And then this song came on. I don't know the name of it, but it was this cool track, like the song that you should make the move on. So you want to be a boxer in a golden ring. Can you punch a southbound freight train? Tell me just one thing. Can you move in the world like a hummingbird's wing if you need to? Can you bob, can you weave, can you fake clear to see you when you need to? Well, you might as well quit if you haven't got it. So you want to be a boxer? Can you pass the test? I can tell you got it in ya. I've trained the best. And you work and you sweat and you bet that you train through a bus saw. Then you need to lose your mind because you find that your boy has a glass jaw. So you might as well quit if you haven't got it. 
I go out, I meet my friends, and we play Paranoia, which is this game that you find out what people really think about you. So you ask questions and it's like, who's got the worst haircut? Who's got the worst fashion sense? Um, who's the least popular in the room? Who's the person in the room that is never gonna get married? And it's one common answer, Paddy. <laughs> I act it off all cause if I don't care, but <sighs> on the inside, the little bit of confidence that I do have, it just chips away and it breaks. Like, all I just keep thinking is, is this what people really think? And this is how low they think of me. I suppose that they're right. <laughs> if my own dad doesn't even want me, if my own dad can just wash his hands with me, then I suppose they're all right. <laughs> no one understands me, but they just see this thing. They don't even see me as a person. They just see me as someone that's always going to be on their own. And it hurts. But what am I going to do about it? How can I change what people think about me if they already have that perspective in their heads? 